My journey to find virtual sex machine creator Eric White has led me to an unlikely place. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Smack dab in the middle of Amish country. Not the place you'd expect a virtual sex machine to be made, tested, and produced. But nevertheless, this is where it happens. A secret bastion of smut hidden amongst the rolling fields of Amish country. Wow, so these are all locally made products, huh? Yes, they are. Do you uh, happen to know a local craftsman by the name of Eric White? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, maybe you're familiar with his work. Okay. Virtual sex machine. Okay. No? No. Well, I finally made it to Eric White's production facility. Look at, he said it was an Amish country, but I had no idea that it was going to be this quaint. I mean, it looks like an Amish farmhouse. Let's go check it out. That's what it feels like to be Hey, Marty, how you doing? Good to see you again, buddy. Holy smoke. How do you like seeing me? That would raise my barn. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah. Martin Sargent, how are you? Good to meet you. It, now, what she's doing on there, that it, you can feel that right. in here. Whatever happens in the video happens in the machine. Wait, hold on. Ch shut the thing off. I can't. Cool. I can't. It sounds like there's a locomotive going through Amish country right well, now. I'd you're... like to be able to hear the clippity clop of the horses and buggies going by <laughs> as we do this. Well, when you're using it, you'll think there's a train pattern on there, buddy. <laughs> well, what we have here, we start out with this inner cylinder, mm -hmm. okay? And this is made of a, of a material called Future Flesh. Future Flesh? Future Flesh. Is that something that you've designed here it in is, the barn? It is indeed. It is something we, we designed specifically. It's, it, it will make, it feels just like real skin. Looks like Jello. Maybe oh, you ought to get Bill Cosby to rep these. Yeah, but when you're inside there, it feels like you're inside of either a vagina, inside of a mouth, or in an anal canal. Eric, what do you prefer? Do you rather be in a mouth, a vagina, or an anal canal? Well, I like a little variety of all, Marty. You know? Yeah, a little bit of everything. But it's a convenient, convenient size, fits most men. Mm -hmm. And you can take that out, clean that real easy afterwards. Even if you want to, you can put it in your dishwasher. That's, that's how really? solid it is. Really? You yeah. put it in your dishwasher? You could. Like, along with your cereal bowls? There's a variable speed stroke that, that speeds up and slows down as the action on the screen speeds uh, That's what down. Sammy's doing right there. That's what Sammy's doing right that now. That is, by the way, Sammy, nice technique. Thank you. Good eye contact on that Hummer. Thank you very that much. That is one searing blow job. I try my best. Oh my God. I'm sorry, you were saying, <laughs> Eric? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Not only that, but it has variable vacuum. Mm -hmm. uh, as, she, as she sucks harder, it sucks harder. She stops sucking, it stops sucking. Really? So everything that she's doing on the everything screen is exactly the screen, replicated in there? Exactly replicated inside the machine, that's correct. Sammy, do you think that it's normal for a guy to have sex with a machine like that? You know, it is kind of weird because it's such a big machine and it's, it is a little bit weird, but then I think about it and I use machines all the, the time. That's what I'm saying. I watch yeah. your videos. Yeah. You got machines inside your machines. You got yours are like huge. You got like carburetors and stuff on them. You got them all up inside you. Right. Yeah, you know, I'm a guy and I have sex with one little virtual sex machine and all of a sudden I'm a monster. You're a big pervert. All of a sudden I'm on Megan's <laughs> Law or something like that. It's why, 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 we need equal rights for masturbation. Are you with me, Sammy? I am with you, yes. I definitely. know Eric's with me. I'm with you. I'm willing to provide the equipment. <laughs> No, I think it's a cool machine. I mean, that's why I help you know make a video for it. Do you like do you like doing this kind of thing when it's virtual sex? When you know the guy is looking at you at this point of view, or just regular straight kind of porn sex? I like all kinds of sex, and uh -huh. I like a variety. So it was kind of cool to do this. Video. Ass to mouth. I am not really do ass to mouth. Really? Not really, but I'll do. Eric, do you have an ass to ass. mouth? <laughs> do, do, you have, do you have an ass to mouth setting on that machine? I think we can simulate that. Sure. Mark. Version 3.0, buddy. Let's do it. Shh. Are those church bells? Yes, they are, Marty. Doesn't it kind of creep you out to hear church bells no, out there sense. when this is going on in here? Well, this is the most natural thing in the world, Marty. This is how where babies come from. You're a sinner, a dirty <laughs> sinner, Eric White. Yes, and I so am. are you, Sammy. No, I'm You're not. You're both going to burn <laughs> in the lake fires of hell. Don't you get kind of skeeved out, Sammy, knowing that on any given night there's thousands of men around the planet jacking off to you. No, I get wet. Really? Mm-hmm. That turns I like you it. on? Yeah, I like it. Even though you know that Eric's probably doing it? Does that get you wet? <laughs> <laughs> 
I would I, think you might have a little bit of trouble with that. I don't want to put words into your mouth. No. Eric can jack off to my material whenever he wants to. There you go, buddy. Dude, thanks. <laughs> This is a real neat operation you guys going, uh, got going on here, but I, I'm having difficulty concentrating. Could, you want to go take a walk out yeah, by the river or something like sure, that? Sure. It's getting kind of musky smelling in here. Sammy. <laughs> Great to meet you, Marty. Email me, baby. I'll see you on my laptop. <laughs> so when did you decide to make masturbation your life's work? Well, when I was in the video business in the 80s, I found that there was one profitable section of the, of the industry, um, which was the adult, and that's, uh, people kept coming back for it. And then as technology increased, we tried to keep on the cutting edge of what was happening. We saw the cutest kids, these Amish kids, playing out in this Amish school. It must have been like eight, nine, ten years oh, sure, old. It was sure. so funny. How old were you when, when you decided that you wanted to invent a machine that you could fuck? Yeah, when I was about 13 years old, I invented my own virtual sex machine. I made it out of a dust buster and a cantaloupe. How'd that work out for It you? worked out pretty damn well, I gotta say. I didn't have the videos like you, no, but uh, no. I had the Sears catalog. No, I, see. No. I was happy with Raw it until section. mom found it. Lingerie, lingerie section? Mm -hmm. yeah. That was pretty tough. Pages sticky? Yeah, Eric. <laughs> Real sticky. You know, I actually heard a rumor that uh, the next expansion pack is gonna star Elijah Wood. Yeah, big bird. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Wow, it's really beautiful out there. Yes, it is. Hey, Eric, do you ever hand masturbate anymore? Why would I have to, Marty? It's just not necessary. Does it feel as real as when you're having sex with a real girl? It does, Marty. It is. It is so close to real that it's scary. The machine doesn't have an attitude. The machine mm -hmm. doesn't say no. The machine doesn't get tired. You ever slap the machine around a little you bit? You don't have to. It doesn't make you get upset. Mm -hmm. It just does what you tell it to when you tell it to. So, Eric, on a scale of 1 to 10, how lonely are you? Not lonely at all, Marty. I got lots of friends. They're all electronic, but I've got friends. <laughs> The river sure is beautiful. It sure is. <laughs> Eric White, another proud American who has brought his dreams to life through the internet. I learned a lot from him that day. I think the main lesson was, no matter how beautiful and quaint those Amish farmhouses you pass by on the highway are, in the back of your mind you have to wonder, inside, could there be a fat, toothless bald man having filthy sex with a machine? Maybe that's why the Amish shun electricity. <laughs>